Hello my pinkies and welcome to another plan with me video. I feel like I haven't done one of this like forever. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking this way. But anyways, um, I do film them but I never have the chance to edit them and when I do have the chance to edit them, I feel like it's way past the week. Like usually I'll film them when I do plan it for the week and I like to edit them and post them for the week after because I do have two little ones and i rather have the event happen before I post them on the internet for everybody to see. So that is why most of my videos are posted on Friday and also that it's either a week later or that the week has passed. Having that said, I will flip through, I think it was maybe three weeks of plan with me videos that I have not posted. I'll flip through those week and explain a little bit more about those weeks and what I've done for that week. And I do want to talk shop but I think I should make a separate video for that because I do want this to be strictly a plan with me video and those who do want to know about the changes in my shop just look for another video. <laughs> I know I always say this in my videos just for you to look for another video, but I will post another video Okay, back to this plan with me video. So I'll be using my kit B in my March mystery kit I apologize for the lighting if it goes dim and dark It's because when I was filming this the Sun was coming in and out of the clouds I'm just sorting my sticker out as you can see this is actually a monthly kit there but I'll be using that reminder sticker for my sidebar and these dot dates I will be using it in my weekly spread you can use them for your calendar view too but I find it a bit too much stickers in my calendar view that's why I save them for my weekly views in my March monthly plan with me, I did mention that I went away for a week and a half on vacation. We went to Florida, did Walt Disney World, and oh my gosh, it was so fun. So these are the weeks that I did film plan with me, but did not post them. And as you can tell, it's a little bit different from how I usually plan. These are more scattered, so this is how I usually plan. But these count going forward a little bit more scattered planning and I like to change it up sometimes too. So I actually enjoy doing it this way. It's a little bit more challenging but it just makes my planner a little bit more refreshing to see. And here is the week where we take off. As you can tell that weekend is all pink and the week previously is all black and white. I wanted to separate that because we are on vacation. Here is our hour. This is my March monthly, which the video just went up literally right before that. And this was last week's plan with me. And it was my daughter's birthday, as you can tell, on the 28th. And we spent the whole week celebrating her birthday at Walt Disney World. So that's why I was kind of MIA in my social media. And now that I am back into reality, let's start this plan with me. So we'll be planning March 6th to March 12th. Let's get planning. This is my Mystery Kit B, as I mentioned before, the HP version, but also glossy. Since I started using Glossy, I could not stop using Glossy because, oh my gosh, the printout on Glossy is just amazing. And if you do decide to get a mystery kit from my shop, I strongly recommend you guys to get Glossy because the printout is so beautiful compared to matte. Also with this plan with me, I'll be doing the scattered version because I do need to practice. Right now, as you can tell, I'm doing my date covers. And you're like, what? Did I miss something? No, my camera just stopped recording after 28 minutes. So I forgot to press the record or didn't notice that it stopped recording. So this is where you are right now. Um, before I start with anything, I pulled out a few washi. That's like, I know a lot of washi because I don't know what to use or what washi matches what. So I just pulled out a few. I won't be using all of it, that's for sure. But those are the main ones that I might be using. 
with scattered planning, there's no rule, or even in, in planning, there's no rule on what's right and wrong of planning. You just do it how you feel like doing it. But for me, I like to have my quotes in the middle of the page, and it usually lands on Thursday in the midsection. So that's the first sticker I put down, and the rest I'm just going to randomly place in the boxes. And because it's random planning, I do want to section off a section for my meal plan so at least that I know where to look at when I plan my meals. And I've decided to put all my meal plan stickers at the bottom of the page. And before I do so, I do want to cover up this black um, print stripe at the bottom of the page with a washi and then put the sticker on top of that. Because it's a scattered planning, the only logistic way that I could think of is planning each day, day by day. Meaning I'll be planning the full Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday instead of planning or decorating it in blocks. Does that make sense? One of the washi I decide to pull out are these cute little swans. Like, how cute are these? This is from Simply Gilded. My camera could focus there we go and they are perfect I think for this spread even though there's no purple in it but with the swan and the fairy tale theme going on I think this will really work with the spread like oh my god look how pretty that is the day after your vacation is always busy so there's so much to do that day I have to restock the fridge so that we have food at home, not to mention I have some emails to write and catch up on for the shop and orders to fulfill. Now for Tuesday, I do have a cleaning lady coming to our house to do a deep clean, so I'm just going to indicate that with uh, or block it off with some washi and a teardrop sticker with that in the kit. And also my in-laws are visiting. They actually too went on vacation, but to a different country and place. And they're just going to do a swing by before they head home. I must apologize because next thing you know, I'm just looking at my footage that I lost a huge chunk of film footage. As you could tell, I done Wednesday, Thursday, Friday already and I apologize but as you can see <laughs> I can't do anything now because I don't have footage for that. I think, I don't know, my camera's just acting up lately because I do remember pressing record but I guess when I looked up again it was a black screen. Okay, so I can't really do anything but just go on forward. So the weekend, what we have planned for the weekend, it's our bi-weekly date night. And I'm going to indicate that with a full box. No, not a full box. Half a box. So I pulled out a washi that's from Michael's. It says, be sassy, me time. Love it because that's, that's the weekend. It's just let loose, right? <laughs> so Sunday's going to be family day. Also, my kids need a desperate haircut. <laughs> I'm one of those moms that just let their kid hair grow, grow, grow to the point where they can't see through their eyes. <laughs> well, the story goes is that the, the haircut place that I brought my son to for his first haircut charges arm and a leg, like 35 Canadian dollars. And that to me is too much to pay just for a trim, like a second haircut trim. Like, okay, I understand when you want to shape the hairstyle, that's fine, $35. But I thought I would take him to a first choice, which is just your generic barbershop, $12 there, and you get a, a good haircut. So for saving, $20 is not bad, right? Oh my gosh, was I wrong. He would not let the lady cut his hair at all. We tried him sitting on my lap and everything. But no, she only managed to do two snips, which I said, just do the bangs, do the bangs. And she did, but it wasn't really a straight cut. So, and then instead of disturbing the store and all the other customer, I just like, it's okay. I'm going to go. I'm just going to pay for it and just go. It's okay. But 
Thank God the lady, the hairdresser, was nice enough and didn't charge me. She said she didn't really do anything. So that was the worst experience just for saving $20. Like, would I do it again? No, I think I might take him back to the first place where he got his haircut just to suck up that $20. As you all know me, I do not like to plan for events or anything that's on the weekend. So mostly my weekends are free or without planning. And it's a challenge for me to fill the boxes of what to put in there. And I have dedicated the bottom corner box always for my things to do next week. Just in case that I missed or didn't do or remind me to do for next week I fill it in there now with this space down here I decided to create my own decorative box I'm going to use this lace washi and one of my decorative sticker that comes with the kit and just put it in there and I think I also missed another spot on Wednesday so I'm just gonna fill it up with this floral washi tape that I also got from Simply Gilded and place a quilt sticker on top of it. Once I have mostly mainly everything down I review the week again just to put down any other decorative sticker or functional sticker that I may need or like to add. And lastly to the sidebar, usually I like to pull out a scrapbook paper and cover the entire sidebar and go that way. However, I'm going to try something new and just cover it up with stickers because not everybody might have a matching scrapbook paper that matches the kit or not. So I'm just going to continue the washi at the bottom here and add my reminder sidebar sticker which is made for the monthly view however it does fit your weekly sidebar too i just want to make sure that it lines up with the bottom sticker and i'm going to top it off with the same washi just to make it look a little bit even also this week i'm going to start tracking my medication and also my running i've decided to do a half a marathon again this year and <laughs> I have two months to train for it so I just want to make sure that I am constantly training and running practically every other day to do the half a marathon and I've also added a few more decorative sticker that came with the freebies and now it's time to write down everything And there you go. So it's time to put it back into the book. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you do enjoy this plan with me video, let me know. Or if, even if you enjoy doing watching scattered planning, let me know too. I just find that after doing a few months of the how I usually plan, it kind of gets boring. And then I do like to change it up. And it just, as I said before, it makes it a little bit more refreshing. It wasn't easy because you're just so used to planning the way you usually do like various steps first you know this 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 but this was a lot of fun and you could tell that there's a lot it looks like there's a lot more going on in this but honestly my life is not that interesting <laughs> and there's not a lot of going on in my life too so anyways um as I said before at the beginning, my next video will be about shop talk and I will also post some sneak peek of this month. Is it this month? No, 
of next month mystery kit of the April mystery kit. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I will post some sneak peek of the color scheme or the colors that you'll be expecting to see in the April's mystery kit. And can I tell you, I it's just going to be very spring and very very pastel and. I just, I just can't wait. I just cannot even wait to show you guys the unboxing of the kit itself. Before I forget that this is the last weekend to purchase the pre-sale of the mystery kit or before it gets sold out. I think um, last I checked I only have 14 left. So once it's sold out before even the weekend ends, that's it for pre-sale. I'm not setting up anymore for pre-sale because I could only make a limited amount with my own hands. <laughs> Thank you, my planning pinkies. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.